Then he said, as for the statement of the author, Imam al-Barbahari, rahimahullah, that whomsoever says that the maqadir kulluha min Allahi azza wa jalla, that the decrees or the those anything that takes place of decree, then all of it is from Allah, the mighty and majestic, meaning that all of the decree, everything that takes place, it is from the decree of Allah. Khairuha wa wa sharruha. It's good and it's evil. All of it is from Allah. And Allah Allah misguides whom He wills. And Allah guides whom He wills. So whomsoever holds on to that belief, then he has freed himself from the saying of the Qadariya, its, it's, its beginning and its end. Shaykh al-Fawzan, he said, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, every affair that takes place, every matter that takes place, every event, then it is from the decree of Allah. Kufr and Iman, disobedience and obedience, poverty and richness, sickness and good health. And other than this, all of it, all of it which takes place in the cone, meaning everything that takes place within the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then all of it is from the ordainment, the preordainment of Allah and the pre decree of Allah. And there is nothing, there is not an affair that is external or outside of the qada and the qadr of Allah, outside of the ordainment and the decree of Allah. This is the belief of Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah. In opposition to the Qadariyya, in both of its groupings, because the Qadariyya are two groups. Those who deny the Qadr and those who go to extremes in the Qadr. As for those who deny the Qadr, then they are the Nufat. And as we mentioned, they are the, Murj, they are the Mu'tazila. And those who went to extremes with Qadr, then they are the Mujabbira or the Jabriya. So they went to extremes in affirming the Qadr. So the one who believes in that which Imam al-Barbahari has said, then he has freed himself from both those who deny the Qadr and those who go to extremes in the Qadr, meaning the Qadariya, which are commonly known as the Qadariya, and the Jabriya. Then Imam al-Barbahari said that Allah guides whom he wills. Rather, that Allah misguides, yudillu man yasha. That Allah misguides whom He wills. So Allah does not lead astray except the one who takes the means of misguidance. That Allah does not lead astray anyone except the one who takes the means of misguidance, meaning that He is offered guidance and He is offered misguidance and He chooses misguidance. So therefore, Allah thereafter misguides Him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in Surah Al-Saf, Ayah number 5, فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قَلُوبَهُمْ when they, when, when they themselves deviated, then Allah deviated their hearts, showing that they were given a choice between guidance and misguidance. So they chose misguidance, so Allah misguided them. There is no mention in the Qur'an of destruction or misguidance or punishment of anyone except that it is except that it states a reason for that and that is that the person himself was responsible for taking the means of destruction or misguidance or punishment so therefore, a person who is punished, he is punished or misguided or destroyed because he took the means himself 
that led him to that misguidance or destruction or punishment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that for him due to, a, due to a reason that the servant himself was responsible for. So Allah, for example, would say that if, you, if the servant does such and such, then Allah will punish him. If a person does such and such, then Allah will misguide him. If a person does such and such, then Allah will destroy him. So then a person now is shown the path. If you choose it for yourself, then you will destroy yourself or you will misguide yourself. So Allah leads astray the one who took the path of misguidance. And Allah punishes the one who did that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbade him from doing and so on. And for this reason we say that Allah leads astray whom he wills by his justice and that Allah establishes justice upon the people of misguidance and he did not make them he did not make the people of misguidance the same as the people of guidance as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated أَفَنَجْعَلُوا الْمُسْلِمِينَ كَالْمُجْرِمِينَ مَا لَكُمْ كَيْفَ تَحْكُمُونَ that Allah said, And shall we treat the Muslims like the criminals, meaning the wrongdoers? What is the matter with you? How is it that you judge? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He guides whom He wills from His bounty. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides from His bounty and because He is gracious and Allah favors them with, his guide, with, with, with guidance. And as for the one who goes astray, then he goes astray because he is responsible for choosing the path of misguidance after being commanded not to follow it. So when he takes the path of misguidance, فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ so when they turned away, then Allah turned their hearts away. So Allah describes in the Quran and in the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the paths that will lead you to misguidance and Allah commands you and the Messenger commands you not to take them. So when a person takes them, he has none to blame but himself. None to blame but himself. Barakallahu feekum. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين